when you're creating something that is a beloved book series, we also had some films with this as both a creator and an actor. Mm. What did you want to sort of put on this version as your stamp or bring out to make sure that the audience tapped into, even though they were familiar with the basic tenets? Mm. Yeah, that's a great question. That Because, you know, that was the first thing I had to ask myself mm. when they said, do you want to do an adaptation of Alex Cross? And I know there had already been three movies and there's 30 plus books that have been written over 30 years. Like, what can I bring to the table that's going to make it worth it? Um, and that, you know, became my excuse to go back into the books. And um, as I was going back into the books, I noticed there were some things uh, that hadn't made their way to screen yet. And I think it was because the movies are limited, you know, they're limited in time. They got to focus on the plot and they got to make a choice between plot and character often and, and wrap it up. Whereas we, I figured on television, I might have eight episodes. I might have a, a more landscape and real estate to explore the character. Mm -hmm. And there were things in the books that would give me uh, those sort of signposts. You got to know Alex Cross better. You got to know about his family in the books. You got to know about where he lived in D.C. Mm -hmm. And you also got this really core relationship between him and, and John Sampson. So those were the three main things that made me say, okay, story-wise, focusing on that would be new and feel fresh. And then the second thing was I, I early on made a decision that I was not going to adapt one of the book mysteries for our mystery. Mm -hmm. Because I I wanted the flexibility to create a thriller mystery that was reflective of our day and age. That so I could talk about themes and topics that were happening right now, as opposed to trying to you know force ourselves back into what was happening when the books were written, or change the books to try to make them match what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And so I did the, a whole new mystery. And I tried to give us an updated cross. And our updated cross meant he had to be authentically black. And he had to bring some of these elements that I saw from the book with charisma and physicality and, and sexiness. And those were all elements that he has in the books that you don't see as much on screen. And we combined them with his genius intellect and his ability to dismantle psychopaths. Mm -hmm. And then you got to find the right person to play that. Yeah. Which he did. And obviously for you, Alex is cerebral, he's compassionate, and he has yeah. relationships with all the women in his life. Talk to me about bringing that together as an executive and as an actor on screen. So um, from the producerial standpoint, your thought process is uh, how do we oversee the entirety of the show, right? How do we make everybody shine? And that's something when I came to this and... Ben and I had a discussion about that. I was like, look, man, um, let you know you're about to be my teacher because mm -hmm. I like to surround myself with people who can teach me to help me learn, understand how to come out of this better. I know that when I leave this job, I'm going to be um, not only a stronger performer, but mm -hmm. a much better producer mm -hmm. because I'm learning from a great crew and a, and a great leader right here. So I'm always thinking about how are we really engaging with the fans in a way that is going to service their needs in the best way possible. When I think about this show, I think of it as an extension of the Alex Cross world because there are so many areas that are unexplored mm -hmm. yet, you know, yet to discover for the audience when it comes to Cross. And we have the great opportunity to explore and expose all of those bits that the audience really wants to see. They really want to live in and live with these characters in a unique way. And we're able to do that. So I'm quite proud and and really, you know, quite privileged to to be able to have that opportunity. And then as a performer, I mean, the narrative is so rich. The character relationships are so great the actors that we have on set are amazing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the relationships you see, the tone, the energy, the vibe, it's not fabricated. You mm -hmm. know, uh, Isaiah Mustafa and I, he, he obviously plays Samson, but we have a great relationship on the show. It's only because we have a great relationship off screen. We have a great respect for one, and each other, one another's men and a great respect for each other's artists. So when we come to set, we push each other to go further and further to build out this relationship between these two men because we 
quite enjoy it. And we know if we're having fun with it, we want the audience to have fun with us too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just becomes really uh, a really fun game of creative collaboration. And then making sure you have the foresight to understand, look, how you start is how you finish. We know how we want to finish. We know where we want to go. So that's why how we start, it's paramount that we get everything set the way we need to mm -hmm. because... This is too great of an opportunity to miss.